Yo, what the fuck is poppin' with it, everybody? It's your boy, Saucemen X. Check it back at your niggas with another goddamn video today. So anyways, I'm back with another NBA video up in this goddamn bitch. But I haven't even recorded an NBA video for like five goddamn days. So it's been a goddamn minute. So I'm back on my NBA fucking shit. And we gotta talk about something. We gotta talk about something. And it's about this motherfucker, Zaza Pachulia. Okay, it's about this bitch-ass nigga, Zaza Pachulia. And I am proposing... To the NBA that we have to put a fucking ban on Zaza Pachulia. Ban Zaza. Okay, ban Zaza from the fucking NBA. We, we, this motherfucker is detrimental. Zaza Pachulia is the dirtiest player in the entire fucking league. And we need to put a ban on Zaza. We need to ban Zaza Pachulia. Especially, okay, we need to put a ban on this motherfucker. We already fucking know what happened last night. I keep this fucking video short, but we know what fucking happened last night. This motherfucker... Injured his own teammate. Zaza Pachulia injured his own fucking teammate for the second goddamn time. For the second fucking time. Okay, we already know Stephen Curry. Okay, Stephen Curry got a fucking ankle injury, which we already fucking know how Stephen Curry is. Okay, I don't understand how you, even if you're a Warriors fan, okay, even if you're a fan of the Golden State Warriors, I don't see how you can defend this motherfucker, Zaza Pachulia. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. He's out here injuring your... The, He's injuring your own fucking teammates. Okay, he's cheating. That's number one. He's injuring his own fucking teammates twice. And you, you can't defend this motherfucker anymore. First off, one, he sucks ass. I don't know why the fuck Steve Kerr put him at a starting lineup. Okay, he doesn't even belong to be in a starting lineup. This motherfucker sucks. Clumsy as hell. Can't do shit. Can't grab any fucking rebounds. Injuring your own teammates. How can you defend this motherfucker? Nobody can defend this motherfucker. As we already know, last night, against the Atlanta Hawks, injures his own teammate, injures Stephen Curry. Okay, he's going for a fucking rebound or whatever. His clumsy ass is all up in the fucking paint. Stephen Curry, something happens to his ankle, all of a sudden gets injured, has to sit out for the last 14 minutes due to a fucking ankle injury. Zaza Pachulia needs to be banned from the NBA. So that's point number one. Point number fucking two is that Kawhi Leonard is going to be returning by the end of the fucking month. Zaza Pachulia is going to be returning to the fucking league. I mean, no. Kawhi Leonard is going to be returning. What the fuck I said Zaza for? Kawhi Leonard is going to be returning to the fucking NBA later this month. Okay, he's already practicing, I believe. I don't know, as I said in the fucking last NBA video, which is four days ago. I said that Zaza Pachulia wasn't going to fucking... I mean, I said Kawhi Leonard wasn't going to fucking return until probably like mid-March. I'm not really sure. It's about fucking time. Okay, probably it was a fucking scheme by the San Antonio Spurs. But especially with this motherfucker, Kawhi Leonard, coming the fuck back to the goddamn league, which... I don't even fucking know, okay, that's even another fucking point. Are these fucking points popping up in my fucking head? Another fucking point is that the San Antonio Spurs play the Golden State Warriors four times every year, okay? I think it's four times every year. I don't correct me if I'm fucking wrong. I think it's two or maybe three or four, okay? I'm not really fucking sure. As far as I, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, the Golden State Warriors only played the San Antonio Spurs Two fucking times so far, okay? I remember two seasons ago and last season, I believe, they played in March and they played in April. So, they're going to play two more fucking times right before the playoffs start. Right before the fucking playoffs start. And you're telling me you're going to fucking keep Zaza Pachulia in the fucking league? If I were Greg Popovich, I would be like, okay, Kawhi Leonard, we're going to have to sit you the fuck out during the, during the Golden State Wars, okay? You're not going to get the first seed, okay? I don't think the San Antonio Spurs, the Portland Trailblazers are fucking thirds. I don't know how to fuck them niggas happen. The fucking Western Conference is all fucking crammed up in the same, every fucking team has the same fucking record, just like the Eastern Conference two seasons ago. Do you have uh, San Antonio Spurs, their fourth seed, I believe. Yeah, their fourth seed. So you're not going to get the second seed. If I were Greg Popovich, I would, since you want to sit people, if you want to sit Kawhi Leonard out for nothing, sit him the fuck out versus the Golden State Warriors. You better sit this motherfucker out. Because this bitch-ass faggot motherfucker, Zaza Pachulia, is here to fuck your season up. Which we already fucking know. The only reason, what time is it? The only fucking reason, five over, the only fucking reason for why the Golden State Warriors, the only reason for why the, Go the Golden State Warriors, the only reason why the San Antonio Spurs did not win the NBA championship last season was because of Zaza Pachulia. He was the only fucking reason. He was the only fucking reason. Give that nigga the finals MVP. He was the only fucking reason for why the Golden State Warriors won the championship. Okay? If you take that shit away, Kawhi, the San Antonio Spurs would have won that series in like seven fucking games. Guaranteed the shit. But he had a step on a fucking ankle. I'm pretty sure we all need to put a ban. Every, we need to put a ban on Zaza. Okay? Put a ban. Ban Zaza. Ban him from the fucking league. 
Ban him from the fucking league. And if you can't ban him, sit him the fuck out. Sit that motherfucker the fuck out. Find this motherfucker. Do whatever you need to do. Okay, do whatever the fuck you need to do. Okay, because you already know this motherfucker's here to fuck shit up. Okay, now, that's what scares me the most. Kawhi Leonard's going to be coming back by the end of the month, and they're going to play the Spurs two fucking times. Two fucking times? Kawhi Leonard better not play those fucking games. Okay, and the reason, okay, let me get to the main reason for why Zaza could, should be banned, not just because we, we, we want him to be banned, but the reason why he should be banned is because he is fucking cheating. He is cheating. He's cheating. That's what Zaza's doing. He is fucking cheating. Okay, he is cheating. He is full of fucking shit. Okay? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's somewhere, okay, I should have fucking pulled up the NBA, what was it, I don't know what the fuck you call it, the NBA's guidelines or whatever, you need to look that fucking shit up, I'm pretty sure, and if they don't, they better fucking put something in, where you try to intentionally injure somebody, if you're trying to intentionally injure somebody, you should, by the NBA's rules, you should be kicked off, okay, you should be kicked off, okay? You think it's okay for everybody to just walk up in a fucking NBA game and then and everybody's trying to step on everybody's foot? You're telling me that's what you're supposed to You're telling me that's perfectly okay. No, the fuck it's not. Zaza, you need to put a restraining order, okay? You literally need to put a fucking restraining order. This nigga cannot be 500 feet from Kawhi Leonard. He can't be. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention, almost exactly a week ago, and almost injured two people. Motherfucker tries to fall on Russell Westbrook. I mean, everybody see that shit? Like, how the fuck are you? Everybody on the... Everybody is on the other side of the fucking court. Everybody is on the other side of the fucking court. And you're just all of a sudden at the very end just flopping all over Russell Westbrook. Like, that, what, like what are you even trying to do? You know what I mean? I call Russell Westbrook called that nigga out. Like, what is this motherfucker doing? Is he high? Okay, you need to ban weed from the NBA. J.R. Smith should be banned from the NBA by that fucking logic. He's clumsy as fuck. So I don't understand how anybody can disagree with me on this shit. How can anybody disagree with me on this shit? Even the most biased Warriors fans have to agree with me on this shit. Zaza Pachulia needs to be banned from the NBA. Ba put a ban on Zaza. Ban Zaza from the fucking league. Because one thing... What does he even do? Okay, if you don't ban him, you gotta wave this motherfucker. You know, you gotta, like, it should be against the rules. Okay, there should be a written fucking rule saying that you cannot intentionally injure somebody. Or you will be banned. Okay, apparently, if you just fucking, you know, argue with the referee, you get kicked out of the fucking game. You get kicked out of the fucking game just for arguing with the ref. You get into a fist fight in the NBA, they'll ban you for a little couple of... Remember, this shit happened to Ron Artest back in 2004. 30-game fucking ban. Ruined their entire fucking season. Reggie Miller's last fucking season. Ruined their entire fucking season over a fist fight. But you're telling me an injury that last, that lasted the entire offseason, an injury that fucked up the entire fucking season, that was obviously intentional, did not even receive a ban, not receive a suspension, did not receive a fucking fine. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Ban, ban Zaza. Put a ban on Zaza. Put a restraining order on Zaza. Kick him out the NBA. And you damn sure should not even let him step foot in the same basketball court that Kawhi Leonard is in. He cannot even step foot on that shit. And they're going to play two more times. This is going to be scary as a motherfucker. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be like the edge of my fucking... I'm going to be terrified as fuck. Okay, when the, when the Spurs play the Warriors again, if Zaza and Kawhi are playing, I'm going to be scared as a motherfucker. I'm going to be like, oh shit, oh shit, nigga. Oh, some crazy shit's about to fucking go down. So we got Zaza. He doesn't bring you anything. He, is, he only is there to negatively impact the game of basketball. That's the only thing he's doing. He's just negatively impacting the game of basketball. That's all Zaza Pachulia is doing. Anyways, what, what, what does he do? He's clumsy as fuck. Okay, he's clumsy as fuck. Over here like fucking flopping all over the goddamn place. He's, he's slow as a fuck. He's a slow ass little bitch. He can't do anything. He can't play defense. He can't do anything. He, can, he literally can't do shit. And why is, why is this guy even on the team? He's been exposed to being a dirty-ass fucking player even years before he even went to the fucking Warriors. You know what I mean? I think he did to Kawhi Leonard back when he was in Dallas. That's all this motherfucker did. He's only here to fuck your shit up. He's only here to fuck your shit up. He can't rebound. He can't play. He can't play defense. He can't do anything. And he's just clumsy, and he injures his own fucking team. It's injured Kevin Durant once, injured Stephen Curry last fucking night. 
Like, what the fuck? Because he was clumsy as fucking kid, landed on Kevin Durant's leg. Last season. This season. All of a sudden, clumsy as a motherfucker. Lands on Stephen Curry's ankle. Ban this motherfucker. Okay? Like, goddamn. Like, I don't understand how anybody can be, you know, comfortable watching Spurs versus fucking Golden State Warriors. And now, fucking, apparently, Oklahoma City. Or is only watching his own fucking teammates. Every fucking game he plays to watch out for this bitch-ass nigga. God fucking damn. So... Uh, put a ban on Zaza. Ban Zaza from the league. He's going against the rules. He's cheating. He's cheating. How the fuck is intentionally injuring people multiple times not cheating? How is it not worthy of suspension? How is it not, wor not worthy of being fucking banned? Okay? We, we got that shit. We got him falling on Russell Westbrook for no goddamn reason. We got him stepping on Kawhi Leonard's foot. Fucking up! Their championship, supposed to be championship season. They're blowing them niggas the fuck out by 30, 25 goddamn points, 30 fucking points. And then all, all of a sudden he can't. Oh my god, it's fucking ridiculous. So, <laughs> if Zaza's not banned, I'm gonna be, if Zaza is not banned, and if Zaza intentionally injures Kawhi Leonard, or anybody in the NBA for that matter, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make it a very massive fucking rage video if this bitch nigga Zaza actually injures another fucking player and the NBA does